Yes, greetings one and all. You are now tuned in to the Dancing Clear Reggae Vibes and today we are in African Simba Studio and we're going to be holding a reasoning with some of the ones and ones. My name is River Jordan. I'm a musician and an artist. This year I have a song coming out every week and we're going to do some introductions and we're going to get into the reasoning. So if you can introduce yourself, I lad. Then are you still in XBL Massigan? Let God be praised. Ja. Rastafari. Rastafari. My name is Isaac Natural, originally Rastafari. Greetings, family. My name is Errol Mohammed, A.K. Phillips, sound system from Thirteen, come up, boxman, soulman, ampman, life man. Greetings. Professor Neatley, the one who twists all the wires together, all is well. <laughs> and I name African Simba, and I say greetings in the name of His Imperial Majesty Emperor Ali Selassie the First. And I know you look impressed men and for balance. King I. Ali I Celestia, greetings. Yeah, I'm Prince Terralux, young reggae artist based in the UK. Start with sound system like Top Link and King Original Sound and work with artists like Nearest Jones and Errol Bella. Prince Terralux, yes, greetings. So if you want to start from that side, Coming right back around with Prince Terry Lux, what, what would you say your contribution to sound system or reggae culture is? So, uh, my contribution, well, as an artist, I'm a vocalist, songwriter, and um, vocalist. <coughs> but the sound system culture always it started me off in the dance art. Yeah. Oh, the reggae Rasta sound um, in a London and UK. It's yeah. Simba. Yeah, I would say I'm on first contribution, uh, attribution in a sound system culture is as a full taker, part of, uh, one of the audience, see, one of the consumers, yeah, that's I'm on f first step in the sound system arena. And I'm going to stick an up in, and that is an important step and an important contribution, see? so I'm glad you pointed it out. All right. The second step now, seeing was to be vocally heard. Seeing I was chosen as a young youth around nine, but them amongst my brethren them who I built songs. Remember, I said them time that there's probably more than one song even on every road. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Even if it's just like a house party song. You can give seeing? us a view of what time year yeah, was. Yeah, we are talking about seventies. Seven. Yeah, we are talking about late seventies. From from we're talking like from seventy seven. Yeah, around them time there. Yeah. Seeing, Cause, well, seventy seven. I was age ten. So I'm on born sixty seven. But as a little youth, I always there on big man. See, and the big man them love I'm on vibes, and the big man them say yeah, are you have to hold the fire for him. See, and you can imagine at that age now, seeing I know write lyrics, you know. Free flow. I now have that conception of writing lyrics, you know. I just feel listen, man, like my fear, I'm on favorite DJs, obviously the elders, them, you write, I write especially, because at first, man, when we really listen to and say, yeah, this man I talk, I will you he's very philosophical. See? More than the yeah, yeah, yeah. See? Right, in my philosophy. In my mm -hmm. lyrics, and then I second man, Jack Thomas. See, you used to love him vocal. The way the only one talk, man, like Jack Thomas on the fire phone. You know? And then my third one, the most controversial artist, probably in a reggae business in the UK, a man called Ranking Dread. See, because his lyrical prowess and the way him deliver him lyrics and the, the, the Everything about him, lyrically, me did love, see? So I used to like mimic, see? 
You know, me listen to lyrics. Them time, you know, nobody had talk about your yeah, pirate me lyrics. Everybody mm-hmm. had talk everyone's lyrics. Cause we ranking Joe and man like um oh, uh, Brigadier Jerry and them man they talk. You say yeah, you Ryan, other man had talk the same lyrics and you know a inspiration. A inspiration. Yeah, See, it is like lyrics are sheer. Yeah, man. If I if I saw. See. So I see him where I'm on coming night, I'm on forward the night, you know? And from that time there, I've graduated to becoming a recording artist, a performing artist, a songwriter, a soul man in all different aspects. But still, first and foremost, a, a one who full tear and who consume the vibration. First and foremost, because you know what, that not not go left eye. Mm-hmm. See, and that are the first and foremost. To the point where you even bring your contribution forward to contribute this premises for once and one can gather and we can have reasoning like this and it does so. Yeah, man. Why not for me like you know, last bastion. We give thanks for you that, know? you know. Yeah. So, a job works, you know. All right. I agree, that's stuff all right. You can tell me about some of your contribution to the sound system or the reggae culture. A mixture <coughs> of music and sound system equipment and building sound, you know, from my early childhood. Yeah, man. Um, born a centre in Jamaica and we had a little dance album called Aquila and where most of the sound used to come. Joe Creed, Cox and those people from my early childhood. So we landed here in 1971. I meet so like Sir Coxon, Mighty Emperor, and we also had a elder, elder man sound still. Mm-hmm. So being a youth still, just landing on at the age of 12 and you know, man has a Rastafari and you know, meet with man like King Original and now still. Wazir, Frankie, and Mighty Emperor, and so on and so on. You know, we hear about man called Metro, we hear about <coughs> the Unis, we hear about Chicken, around and round and round and things. So, as a young youth now with certain knowledge, in a school we meet a, a science teacher called Mr. Shaw. And when you talk to people like that, the man they have brains like water come out of the head. You know, <laughs> yeah, because when them talk, them have spittle, when the man they have it locked. So I like you to tell the man the story why you want to build a soul and thing and build pre- amplifier and thing. I say, yeah, man, we want to do that. And it's twelve year old. I build my first amplifier as valve and things here. Me and in a school with it and woodwork class and get my first fifteen in slanted front box and things here. Me and walk out that woodwork class with it and have my sound from the age of 12 me have, been, have my sound you know see gravitating towards King Original and the man and them, the man there so oh, wait, 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 and we link so what I go on now is like someone I build and me I build King Original sound and me I build my sound so it's two sound you get Laxman sound and you get King Original and the two of them gravitate and come up but along the line we meet my man like fat man and the man slatty in and them want this done them want that done and them want that done another one come and another one come and we just find say boy oh the man was a come regular so, so you kind of fit in the culture the whole, the whole thing still and the whole heap of contribution where man want to know about the yard man want to know about the music man want to know about the artist and to you fresh now everybody have you up as a one where you give, give a certain insight you know but yeah, do your work same way. You carry on, build your amplifier, build your preamp and things the same way. And so, for yeah, me, yeah. that's one of the things then why I give thanks to a man like Dan Sinclair because I urge him, so we need forum like this because the people them out there and the people them want the connection to the culture, them want to hear some of the story, them, them so, want to be in our room like this, like a fly upon the wall, I catch some of the reasoning. It's, 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 and if you enjoy it, member, Click a thumbs up, put on a like, subscribe to the channel and all of these things because we want to bring the people them in and make them get some of the vibes and get some of the culture because they're out there and they want the culture and we who have the access is not all the time. True. Them can come in a venue like this, them can get a reasoning like this. Yeah man, true, true. My lad, you can give us some insight. Greetings family. I think my first journey start 
It's my mom's fault. <laughs> the story my dad said to me when she came to this country from St. Vincent, we're Vincent. Okay. And she took her first wage pack and go buy a record. My dad said, said this is not St. Vincent, you can't go outside and pick your dinner. <laughs> so that's my first exposure. To the, and I still have the music to know that she bought. All right. So from there, the house in Byron Avenue had a, a nice cellar. My dad was a large man. But they had party. I didn't know so a blues party at the time. You know, when you sit down by the stairs and you see big people are coming and you're listening and you, you see box down there and certain thing and you, you get interested. And to me, the bass note to me has always been like stroking velvet. Mm -hmm. uh, that's how I can describe it. And if you see me play now, that's what I set her into. If you imagine stroking velvet, that's, that's, smooth. What, that's what it's supposed to sound like. Yeah. So that's what we call the Behringer. When you have a Behringer, you can extinguish right. what's supposed to be and what's not supposed to be and adjust it accordingly. So from there, um, I remember we had a table tennis table in the, tables, te table tennis ta table in the cellar. We take a mitt box with it. We teeth the valve amplifier from the physics lab because we see one that's on it and it can't work. We take that and we join up, do some madness, we take the output from one amplifier put the input to another so we get more power. You never know it's going to blow up, but mm -hmm. you know, you try things like you, too. Yeah, and from there, we built our first sound for our 13, trying to hi fi. Mm -hmm. uh, we come up from there. And I've always been kind of background man. I'll make sure the box them string up and so on and so forth. But you're taking in, you're a sponge. Yeah, and you know, through the through the, the years being around, there are a lot of security. So I've been in a lot of dances, mm -hmm. um, both good and bad. You know, we've all been there when you set switch and don't work because you never know you're supposed to maintain it during the weeks. It's not playing. Mm -hmm. It's a journey, you know. But um, right now, I DJ. I'm on the internet radio station, Real Music FM, and. I like to pick and play. As I find them, I play them. As I put my hand in the bag, I play it. Mm -hmm. So it can be anything. All right. I have, um, I, I never let scar aerobics, I have a section of my show called scar aerobics. Mm -hmm. I never let scar go. That's our foundation. Never. Yeah, man. You know, so I'm here at drum beat. It's like a medicine. But another word for you is called a psychiatric ward. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever problem you have can be sorted out here. There'll be someone here who will have a reasoning to set you back on the right track. Yeah, thanks. You know, so each one to each one. So as a general thing, um, it is, I, I believe the music, we know the planet as a baseline, as a note. The pyramids have a note. Mm -hmm. That note gives us energy. Uh, yeah, man, I may always try to stress to some man where I don't really find them players in the industry that just because you're not an artist or you're not you're still important because everything carry your energy like That's Nida right. said to Simba the first contribution is a fun the first contribution is always an appreciate and nobody don't come band big That's as right. an artist the first contribution is always wow that song yeah. Yo, what wa going wa around there? So I want to get involved in the, the vibration there, you know? Yeah, man, yeah. so that that important. So, Give thanks, yes, sir. Coming around to Isaac Natural, give me some, some insight into your contribution to the sound system and the reggae culture. Greetings, family. And my first contribution was to be contaminated with music. Mm -hmm. Music hold on me from I was five years old and never let me go. The first time I played music was at my brother's 21st birthday and I was five and they put me upon a stool and a crate. At that time, my reading ability was average as a five-year-old. But what led me to the music and knowing what to play was during I time growing up, I father and mother used to deal with um, Green Shield Stamp. Mm -hmm. The Green Shield Stamp was a company that when you collect things like petrol at the petrol station, they will give you a line of Green Shield Stamp and a book 
to full up the green shield stamp and how much books you get contributed to what you wanted out of the catalog so i used to be a collector of these things when i went to the the petrol station and put them on the book in the journey of life my father they used to call bowls he used to wear a bowler hat braces and also a lodge member and yes, always in tweed yes, okay so he used to keep gatherings every second week or second strong on the saturday and during those times in the early 70s party begin at six o'clock by seven thirty, eight o'clock the place would be full it would be one room and we had uh the room what we call the dining room and the dining room had a, a box where you can open the shutter and that would look into the kitchen the bar would be in the kitchen and what drinks that you want it would be handed to you and the food during those times people used to bring pot of goat pot of chicken pot of rice so everybody came with a pot and some came with these dirty bottles very black bottles and they used to call it the black gold we know it now as guinness at that time in the 70s this country did not import guinness because of the fallout and the historical um, exploitation of the irish they would not import this black gold the black gold used to go into the cupboard also a beer called Maxson and um, <laughs> Cream Label, oh, mean, right? No, no, and uh, the other little bottles where they used to call red wine, red label, red and so forth. Um, beer, the cherry beer. And the cherry beer, all right. So, boom. During those times, people bring the drink, and I'll be the five year old watching all of these things going on. And uh, my first contribution was to get involved how did i get involved my father was say, are you boy sit down there sir so i would sit at the stairs watching everybody and then take time go around people foot because i was shot like the bongo drum and everybody tall so i can go around the foot them and the place where i was heading for is where the person was playing the music as i got near to the place where the people were playing the music remember i'm five years old i don't know what is going on I'm getting more hot and, and I'm sweating but what I didn't realize that the amplification of the sound system at the time was valve when the valve them get warm they create heat so the closer I got to the arm case of oh, that time we call it arm case now they call it fly case where the DJ was playing I would find a place where I could get some breeze at least to observe what was I observing? I was observing the records coming out, being put on the side, and then the record would come out with the paper sleeve, leaving the hardback sleeve in the box, and then you would take the record out, take out a shamai, wipe the record. When he wiped the record, I'm looking and observing what he's doing. Then he would take the stylus off, and then he would have a brush, and he would brush the needle, Put the record down by holding the edge of the record. You don't put your finger on the record. Put it on the turntable. Then his eye, the turntable will be at eye level. Not bending down, but at eye level. So I will be looking up like this. I am very short. So I couldn't see, but I could see what he was doing. Put the record down. Then in the amp case was four to six big knobs. Rotor knobs for the uh, amplifier at that time it was called a preamp now they call it management system so i see what knob he turned it was the second one in then i heard the music go up then i see him turn another one then i will feel this thing touching me and i don't know what it is that was bass line i wasn't sure what it was but i like the feeling of this bass line okay so the music would play and then i would see him put the record back and I like that but on the other side of the record where he would play the side where the green shield stamp that I recognize from going to the petrol station collecting them putting them on the book that side he would not play so slowly I learned to go into the box and find this record 
with the green shield stamp. Take it out. I'm not supposed to touch the uh, what we used to call the entertainment system. It was a machine called a gramophone, but in the Caribbean era, we used to call it gram. So when I was not allowed to go into the front room, I used to go in there, open the door, and switch on the the gram, then watch the blue light. We used to have a gram called the blue spot. This blue spot indicated when the valves were ready. So the blue spot would stretch. Then you will hear it ready now. So I scrape the needle with the brush. <laughs> then I'm looking for this record with the green shield stamp. I find it. I put it on the turntable. I put the needle down. And because I'm a child, I'm mimicking. I'm starting to dance before the record start to play. When the record play, I noticed that it, there was nobody talking. There was nobody singing. I was listening to dub. That was the first crunch that I love music. I like this music without the singing mm -hmm. dub. Yeah, well. So the journey goes on. I now become a teenager. <coughs> in the 70s, we had a place in North London called the Norwich Club. When I was growing up, I liked football. My team, boo if you want, was Tottenham Hotspur, still is. Okay, good. So, <laughs> don't say nothing. Right, boom. Norwich, at the time, learning about sound system and football, Norwich was Wembley. Wembley is where the big matches used to take place. The big teams used to come together for the FA Cup, for the UFA Cup. All of these cups were taking place and the competition at Wembley. Norwich was Wembley. And my journey to get into Norwich in the 70s was familiarizing myself with what everybody else was doing. I saw everybody got there early, but the doors wasn't open. And I said, what's happening? Oh, we're waiting for the sound. Oh, you're waiting for the sound, so we're talking. And one set of people came from another set of, uh, 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 of uh, another area. So in North London, in Tottenham, we have uh, South Tottenham. So there'll be a sound system. Uh, in mm -hmm. The story country. long enough. Yeah, but the thing is, <laughs> mm. about halfway through our time. Oh God, remember going out of power. Uh, all right, out of a reason. Wrap it up for all right, so let me go in at the, the teenage old. The teenage old. Right, tell us about some of your mentors and your inspiration in the reggae music. Mentors and the inspiration. Mentors and inspiration came from the early days of going to Narek and listening to a sound system while my cousin had a sound system called Count Tun. Finding my journey and listening to sound system, hearing the quality difference. Now I'm a teenager, adolescent age, and all the new equipment that went with it and my first journey was to listen to a song called Fat Man. Yeah. Fat Man Hi-Fi. I wanted to know what Hi-Fi mean. It means high fidelity. So listening to the sound, he had all the new equipment being built at the time. So I would be there watching the sound system put together like a jigsaw puzzle. So on my journey, Fat Man sound, and listening to Fat Man sound, hearing Count Shelley, hearing um tropical down beat hearing all of these other sound system coxon all of these other sound enchanter playing with fat man sound hearing the sound quality hearing the music difference and finding that fat man sound stood out then on the journey in listening to music i find that there was the other side of music that i now found in myself was what we call roots and culture music mm -hmm. and there was other sound systems that fat man would introduce in narik to play and these sound systems now started to make me think about the other side of the music away from the lovers rock and the social differences in the world at the time and one of the songs them that I started to listen to after a gold cup competition in 1977 77. was Fat Man, Shaka and Coxon mm -hmm. and my, my, my listening ears changed when I heard Jashaka, 
because I was already listening to Coxon and Colombos, Four Races, QBs, going over to Brixton, listening mm. in Brixton Town Hall. So the roots and culture music led me forward to where me come from, where I did like this sound, where there's no vocal in the music, and it was drum and bass or instrumental horns. Yeah, man. Then to the contribution now, the contribution started in uh, the early 80s, on the journey through Norwich, I met a lot of people called Frightener, who became popular with Jack Tubby's label. He sang a tune called um, the Life. Him and Colonel Mighty, he called himself Frighty on the tune. He used to be the selector in Norwich with a man called Charger that used to play Sir D song, yeah, Rastafari. Yeah, so on the journey now, the contribution now was the microphone and the selecting skills that I had. The first sound system I had in 1976 was Revolutionaries. This was the beginning of the lead singer for the instigators, a man called Courtney Bartley, where Mafia and Floxy was born from. Alright, so we're gonna have to keep it moving. We appreciate it. Yeah, 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 so one for you. We understand, <laughs> understand where you come from because Rastafari. when you have so much contribution, Rastafari. it's hard for you to fit it in a one little box. Because Jano. me myself, me have an independent label. Me release my own music, me produce my own rhythm, me play a ukulele, me play a keyboard, me have to do my social media, me shoot video, me link dancing clear. First time I come with my camera, you understand me run around and shoot video. So when you see something that inspire you and that bring joy to you, not only do you want to contribute to it, but you want to talk about it. You know me, I say. So if you can give with some of your, your mentors and your inspiration, some of the things then that really get you going in the sound system culture. Can you remind me of your name, King? Brother Errol. Brother Errol. Yes, sir. All right, sir. I think one of the places that I really call school, we used to go down to the place called Plashet School on a Friday night. Mm -hmm. Rigging and Jing is the sounds of Jayu, the Roots Ambassador, and guest sounds, you know? And from there, you would travel up and down the country in the back of lorry as boxman to get some schooling for how it got. You understand? Mm -hmm. you, you take the journeys and that took me all over, up and down the country. Um, and I think it, it, it's really the, when I go to a dance, and I still do it now, I like to go early, because I like to see what equipment is there. <laughs> how many 18s they got? What kind of design box? How much amps they got? Okay. There's one thing when the sound switch on when the place is empty. There's another thing when the switch on when the place is full. You see? Yeah. So then I look at the science of that. So I may have been in the dance for an hour and a half and I've had my fill because it was not just about the music. You know, I go in there to get my things. upliftment from equipment, you see what's going on and, and I'm fine. So I don't need to be in there six, seven hours. Two hours is, might be good for me and I'm good. You yeah, know? Man, so yeah, uh, it's life teaching. I, I, it's, it's not just the music by itself because once you become into it, you become disciplined. You take that discipline and transmute it to different parts of life. Yeah, man, yeah, man. Yeah, man. You see? And that's how, that's how I see it. That's true, the true. inspiration. For you, yes, man. For you. Can you remind me of any of King, man? Professor Natalie, them kind of Professor you know? Natalie. AKA, AKA Laxman, AKA original Laxman. sound. Right. Sound so known as Laxman. Professor Natalie, brother Errol, Isaac Natural. African Simba and Prince Terrellox. Prince Terrellox, alright. So, Uno can remember to as well as me. So, Professor Nate, you can tell us about some of your inspiration, some of your mentors, some of the people that were really. The majority I come from Jamaica still because my father, brother, is a musician. I'm calling him Larry McDonald. I mm -hmm. don't know if you know him, a percussion player, mm -hmm. Peter. Well, the history go back with a man like um, Derek Harriet. He was in a group with Derek Harriet and those people. Bongo Herman and those mm. people, they, they congregated. So my uncle, Babande, Ken Boot, four of them grew up together still as musicians and things. So mm. I was introduced to music quite early and things. You know. Same time in my band and things, one road, just the next road, Akilan dance. So whether you want, whether you're Christian, Bubba or whatever you want. Whether you have a sleep or you're not sleep, music or dead, you hear it. You can't escape it, so yeah, if you have a, yeah. So 
you have people like Ken Booth, you have people like <coughs> Orias Handel. the record where you hear them live? They, they, them live sometimes because they come to hear them tune. The man they come at the dance, you come hear them tune and play, but it a go on regular and thing every, every weekend. Mm -hmm. The Larry we just drive around and them have a thing called a megaphone. And them chat on the megaphone at the back of the, of the Larry and thing and the van. The, the Larry just drive around all around. So you, 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 whether you like it or not, when you reach 4 30, mark it a shut down, I go at 5 o'clock, 6 o'clock. And from there, so the Larry just go around and advertise in the district who I come, I, who I come at the dance and thing. So you, you, you're affiliated with that still, you know? Yeah, man. So with them things now, leaving Jamaica and coming here, you know, we meet people like King Original was here. Fatman, Coxon, most of them people and the man when we hear that youth attack about sound and sound equipment and things, the man they amazed because young look youth attack them talk and them look at them astonished because it's only big man attack them talk there, you know what I'm saying? Most of them came here so this all about so I get a journey around and while going to school I build my sound and I build King Original sound at the same time. So you just building our little bedroom and we can't go road and I got a church hall, push pro, use pram. Pram we use them there, there. Some man can on the back on them head, some use pram, push chair, all kind of thing, just to make it happen. And we started off with a little valve, um, a four valve amplifier, EL, EL, EL4. 34, EL34. EL34, 34 34s, them times. And then graduate up to KT66, KT88, TT21, and things like that, and so forth. So throughout the period now, people like Jayut sound now. It wasn't Jayut originally, it was a brother called Janiema. He was the one who normally try a thing and things same and so forth until Jayut came in and took over as a, as a youngster. So from there now is building sound for myself, building sound for other people, doing this and that for your kind of people with all different kind of sound because you intercept somebody want this done but that the technician can't deal with it because they don't have the wisdom there. That, 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 that. But all around, everybody comes to him and get so things So you started. get the inspiration and so you connect with the And so you come up with the whole thing yeah, here, man, so and so forth. Cool. But, you know, yeah, well, from then until now, the whole of them know me from Coxon, Shaka, Jayu, the whole lot of them, which was a rivalry of, of mine at one time, Sledgehammer and those other people as well, said Speed, you know, we have the, those so youngsters. PMG, which used to be down at the Leighton Youth mm -hmm. Center down at Seregla. And so, so uh, you, know, yeah. you know, basically, you know, <laughs> not, but let's just say something. Go ahead. If it plug in, him fix it. <laughs> <laughs> I saw it go. Him not said properly. Yeah. If it plug in, him fix it. Anything he says or plug in, him can pull it Mr. Garrard. Yeah man. Yeah man. We know as the garage doctor, you know. Mm -hmm. All the garage turned to them from early childhood. Is I man from Shaka come right down. Neatly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Professor Neatly. Never five times. Neatly. Yeah yeah yeah. Real so we going coming through and we meet man like a Zimba. Yeah. And things same we are in Bridget. So it's about a Bridget with him. So he must say we want to build sound and thing and we start a sound with him as well. So I graduate and build up him sound from back in at the time and various things go through. But the pass on my sound and leave him, go to university, come back, go and come, go and come, go and come and things say me and we still there and everybody have them sound and you know, upgrade and this and so forth and so so yeah, from valve over to transistor still, you know? Yeah man. So this one come, that one come right all the way through. So from all from from early childhood until now, man. Still live, man. Me, yeah, me live, me live and sleep, breathe the whole thing right now, man. Believe you me. If it plug in, if you know what I mean. Yeah, it. yeah, it. yeah, electrical and electronics. <laughs> <laughs> Come in, same boy. You can tell me about some of your, your mentors or your inspiration. All right, inspiration. <coughs> That's way before me start go out. Yeah. Differently to most people in here. I feel like most people in here have a Caribbean connection. Mm -hmm. Let me put aside the part one now. I have the original African Bobo. Now, Nigeria, where they come from? Oh, huh. So, growing inside Nigerian house. Benisa. Uh, Benisa. Reggae music was not 
the number one music for at first, yeah? Yeah. You talk about man like Fela Kuti, mm -hmm. King Sonia Day, Osadebe, mm -hmm. that's Nigerian music, yeah? Mm -hmm. So, reggae music was being featured in the UK more than African music. African music was more of a kind of niche thing, see? But I used to listen to the radio and my dad used to buy records, yeah? So he'd come home with records featuring man like the pioneers, Long Shot, Kiki Bucket, and all them kind of tune and we pim 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 right and we know about pioneers and then we start to know about Trojan label so in I and I household it's not really the underground I discovered the underground later see it's what I discovered yeah it's what come overground what is being pushed commercially seeing that English people, people of different culture can access reggae music. So at the time. At the time. So I remember listening to man like Ken Bood, I will give everything I own. Uh, give up my life, Desmond Decker. Whoa, the Israelites, all them tunes. These were tunes that were coming popular. Right? And then you had um you know people like Owen Gray and you had people like um the man then we used to have the record shot down a really word. Tim. Uh Rupi Edwards. Rupi Edwards. When you talk about Rupi Edwards, you have to talk about Clarence. Uh, Eccleton, Cl Clancy, 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 Clancy Eccles. Eccles. Yeah, and all them Clancy people Eccles, man. Right? That's UK. Mm -hmm. Right? That are the roots really of UK reggae. See as far as I concern. Foundation. See? Right? It's what was coming through Trojan and this is what's opening it up to the public right and to people from different nation yeah so that's how i access reggae music see and then of course the great bob marley see and i remember i've sat down and i've watched several people on tv ken wood was on tv had a video with that tune there he was on top of the pops right there's one they could get a look in but me never see a man with dreadlocks mm -hmm. so when i I seen, you know, growing up now, I see people with dreadlocks. You understand? And every time you see a man with dreadlocks, it's like, I'm amazed. I, I kind of, I don't know whether to be frightened or scared or to be happy. I just feel kind of different. You understand? Mm -hmm. Right? And that's how my first come amongst man like King Original. Because King, they, they have a place called Abyssinians Club, see, in Forest Gate. And them man, they used to have a football team. So that's my first, I remember first seeing Rasta in a big way, playing football over Hackney Marshes. Yeah, my parents would, we used to go to a church in South London. So we're heading towards Blackwall Tunnel. Mm -hmm. I see these dreadlocks people, see. But then you see man like Bob Marley come on the scene. Yeah, he was the first dreadlocks man me see pan top of the pops seeing before dennis brown come on you understand so and then when him come on and by then i'm already now starting to because i think when i first see bob marley pan tv i'm probably about age 11 11 or around that years now i've already started to <coughs> go to the local dance mm -hmm. yeah and in the local dance we have st luke's church right we have Lake Youth Centre, they were major points in my little arena called Leighton. Yeah, that's me not travelled out yet. Me not listen songs where they are so. So me not listen songs like Unitone, Equinox, Alonzo, um, and then you have song that come in from like the corner, Intrepid Rebel, right? And then you have the biggest song I heard at the, that time. It was Jatobis. Mm -hmm. See. It? And I remember being in late New Centre and me and my brother and daddy brains. We are skank in a corner. And him said to me, Yeah, you know, say the man who appeared the music is a white man. And I said, nah man, how are you dealing with Rasta? He can't be a white man. Get them kind of dub there, nah man. And he said, Yeah man, he's a white man. Right? And we kinda of got through the crowd and I see we said that first time I see Keith. Yeah, with him cap on him head and him long hair. And him play some and he was playing some dub that was different to the songs, you know. 
when we are here, unit one and the man, yeah, please, it was more, you know? Mm -hmm. Different vibe. Yeah. Sure. And then my staff is from going to these local dances now, my staff is linked with you, Rasta. Yeah, like my brethren, them, them drop out now, Daddy Breaks, that's Andrew Brooks, Zulu, seeing that uh, Levi, Rastafari, Anthony Brooks. Then man who's alive now, still, Azariah, who they are in high place with I and I. Mm -hmm. See, bridging Isaac, that's his little brother too, right? And we was just a little, because at that time there, yeah, there's no Rasta youth. Rasta is big man. Unless you born in a Rasta house, there's no Rasta youth, I and I, I and I, you know, find Rastafari. Yeah, gravity See? to it. And in finding Rastafari, I get a different inspiration now. See? So, I'm gonna follow them bridge in there, and them not talk about Tubbies and them man, they not talk about Shaka. See? So, we start to go to Phoebe's now. Yeah? And it's in Shaka. See, and at that time there, we start to get more introduced, just like Isaac said, to all different sound in a film area. He leave out Sadis, Sabigs, King Josiah. Um, a whole pass sound from Tottenham. Mm. See, from them time there, Entebbe. Mm. See? Scrap Iron. Scrap Iron, right? Forest Gate, Sledgehammer. Mm. Um, as you sound then, even mm. like, look at party sound then, we have Swapo. President. We have President. Vengeance. I think President and Swapo are one at one time. Mm -hmm. you know? They're giant. Right? Um, King Original, like we said. Then we have um, the first sound who we know ever carry sound system go Africa, Jayut. Yeah? In the 80s, them and they carry them sound go Africa. See? Which was a great inspiration to I and I, them time mm -hmm. then. Yeah? So, I get, you know, that looking, that's how I forward and get inspired by these foundation artists. See, and then like the DJs whom I already mentioned, mm -hmm. and then there's a whole heap of DJ now, and a whole heap of sound, and every sound of them, man. And when pick up all the pans, shaka, it's sweeter. See, when the next man, the pan, the next sound, like, we can't remember some of the other sound DJs. Other but, you yeah. know, you feel it more. Sometimes you don't even want day night dance unless the DJ did it. Mm -hmm. See, because it just makes it sweeter. Different. You know, at them time, the DJ not really come on and from beginning, mm -hmm. you know, sound as a player, vibes are built. There's mm -hmm. a thing about building the vibe. Mm -hmm. You understand? Before even sometime, before even fire phone get turned on. Oh dear. You understand? So hold on, hold on, hold on, because you gone, you run down the whole itinerary in a one, something before we even start <laughs> reach and all that stuff. So, press to relax. Tell me about some of the inspiration. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> Thanks for that. Some of the inspiration and some of the mentors. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not quite the same age as the rest of the, the, the crew. Myself neither. The so it's all right if you have different inspiration yeah, yeah, and like different mentors. 72, they call me another thing still, 1972. Still, so. From there, now, as you said, just with the, um, the media, what we have is the TV, is one or two free station, and we have Top of the Pops and certain other little music program. I, I first saw Bob and I think it was Catch a Fire. Um, mm -hmm. Grey whistle test. Whistle test when it's in Catch a Fire, yeah. yeah. Grey, old grey whistle test, that's it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that like, yeah, myself on that show there. But then you have the, the tape culture as well as the little TV, two TV channel. You have the tape culture as well, man. Like Stereograph and Kilimanjaro was a sound, a big sound at my time, and Stereo mm -hmm. Mars and them sounds coming. I used to like DJs like Super Cat, Nicodemus, even Yellow Man and Fathead. But then start going to dance for myself now. My sister them and my brother them have the sound tape and I see a Bob Marley like a post on the wall with redemption song on it and I get inspiration. I used to listen to a lot of the interviews, Bob and Peter, mm -hmm. Peter Tosh and Bob Marley, you know what I mean? And then the sound tape them and then I start go and dance myself, you know what I mean? The first <laughs> dance I used to go was um, a bridge called Chappy Dread. Used to have a, yeah, he used to set up certain corners where you yeah, had music and vibes can run, yeah. <laughs> that was the first one. Me coming yeah, out, sure he had a next one called Black Box in the latter days. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man. Not for you to get fit up, exercise them talent and hear the music. And yeah. my father was here as well, recently passed. 
Rest in peace, rise in power, King Original Sound and the brothers Frankie and the whole Carnegie family. Mm. Yeah, it was the inspiration and more what we could go there and get a good herb and a good reasoning and yeah. it was a music house sound system man. Yeah, yeah start to chat on the sound and man, chap you dreaded like this style and it's a year for coming at the sound. And the kind of style coming through, oh, no, I'm not appearing on, I don't know where I was going, but I don't want anybody to apply there, but even if just a little, you know what I mean, but I was like, he's just going to use me. I'm mean, kind, of, kind of nervous, but, and then some next man there from Hackney coming and take the position shit out of me. I said, shut that, that was really supposed to be the mics, by the way. I'm to turn down music, and any, any offer to get me, just make sure my day has been requesting me to do that, you know what I mean, we got early, hard listen, it was the area sound and, you know, it's so, so tell us a little bit about how things have changed from them time there until now. Yeah, well, things changed in general in the because there's a more unity back then. The, the people that just come from Caribbean and Africa, and there was a there was a unity, and it weren't so much the hard drugs, and there was a musical unity and a family unity between people from Caribbean and. But things kind of changed in the eighties. You don't you don't feel like that unity is there now. Well, some of the, the media culture kind of break it down, the Hollywood and mm. try and jump on some of the music and then tweak. They have drum machines coming and mis- music come from the organic thing. I come in when it's more computer thing. And even now, if I sing on a computer rhythm, I sing a certain way. And if I go on a rhythm where a man start pull out a guitar, I sing a sweet away again. And I say, you know what I mean? So, yeah, because you feel a different the vibration. Key. Yeah. So mm. it's, it's, Organic to the computerizer matter. Mm. See that transition or so, just missed that. But yeah, I mean recording now we've got studio with man like nearest Joseph kind of took down this wing for a bit. That's where we meet Zimba and certain other artists you see artists when they're in there, Bibi and Jones, Black Pass from the Silver Teller. Mm-hmm. You get even a couple of Jamaican artists. And I'm a St. Anne's bass man as well, Jamaica, so mm-hmm. I've been yeah. back a few times and also do a few recording and get Couple bookings in Europe, couple recordings out there, PRS registered artists and the chart man, the roots dance them round, yeah, every song firing it. Yeah man. Yeah, my vibes. That's the fire. But hopefully we're taking drum beat you now to eat your <coughs> office and car and have things like you know, Babylon, you know. True, true. Mm-hmm. I'm mm-hmm. Of them set up now and get a music station from this so this radio station and start calling ones, you know. Yeah man. Uh, Good times. So Simba, tell us how you think things have changed from changes in a them time there that we've all been reasoning about right. until where we're at right now. Three major changes. See and there's certain things that cause these major changes. You know, like as we go along, access to information is becoming is increasing, mm-hmm. see, right, and so where there's, it's about some supply and demand. You understand? Know there's a demand. There's a platform for more information, so people are going to generate more information. Yeah. See, the less information you get, see, the more you can concentrate on individual things. Mm-hmm. See, so when I and I grew up, the media access was very little. See, we had probably one man on legal radio, yeah, who was playing the music where I and I want for here. See, uh, one or two man. See, so yeah. you love a tune for a very long time you because you only hear probably it hear it once as strong or uh, twice as strong. Once upon the radio, once in a dance, can I bring you one dance? Unless you have tape it off your radio. See? Unless and you tape it and you listen it forward and you rewind that then all the while see till it tape angle up. Right? So what was a major change? A major change was and at that time there, let's talk about even this thing where them talk about dub plate and special and all them thing there. Yeah. See? Them time where when a man say my play a dub plate where we we never used to talk about special so much. See, dub plate, see, you're not supposed to play that back, pan I. Hmm. See, because if you do that, I have to out out myself. Hmm. That means switch off my light mm-hmm. and hold icon. It's mm-hmm. done for I for the night, you know. Mm-hmm. 
See, because I dared to say, yeah, I could stand up with the eye in a dub. See, <laughs> and you fling back something where, no. <laughs> it's not supposed to happen. Yeah. See, and it's not really about man having name carved out in I tune, you know. Like, yeah, yeah, we big up Simba, big up Simba, 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 Simba. It wasn't Simba, customized. Simba, Simba. No, mm -hmm. see? We had a thing called pre release. Oh. Yeah. And you'll find, say, dub. You'd have, the, you'd have the release, you'd have the pre release. It's stages, isn't it? First stage, recording. When the tune record, there's going to be several mixes come off of that board there, yeah? Because a live mix and a computer mix. You're going to play a tune that is not out. It's not even on pre-release, yeah? It's a fresh tune, and you're going to play a mix that even when it get released, it's not why I can't play your mix. Yeah, a different mm -hmm. sound. Seeing you get something exclusive, totally yeah. different yeah. and exclusive, see? So, that I want thing. Because that now go on again today. Yeah. All right. <laughs> we'll get more access. You see when Pirate Radio come in, you can hear your tune every day. See? It kind of weaken certain thing. It weaken your hunger for hear the tune. It lessen your hunger. So, tune become like chewing gum. Mm-hmm, then the last as long. The last as long, flavor done, you spit it out to put in a new stick. See? Whereas before, tune was dinner. <laughs> that. Full you your belly. After you full your belly, you have, you have to take yes, that, like yes, that, and <laughs> the nutrients are run through your body. See? You know, stay so again. See? Bob Marley left. Yeah? It caused a, a thing in our music too. Right, because and it's not really because of Bob Marley, yeah, but around 1983 when Bob Marley Lou, um, was no more physically with I and I, mm -hmm. see, right, what happened now? What, what happened now? Well, it wasn't now 1981 in past, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Right, but from that time there, it's like, because remember, say, Rasta was always getting a fight, see. Bob Marley put it in a tune where them say, Rast they want to say, Rasta, your God is dead. Right? So when Bob Marley passed now, it's like, Rasta, your prophet gone to. You understand? Mm -hmm. And a lot of people, right? And then, they, then prophecy, because people miss, kind of misinterpret prophecy sometimes. Mm -hmm. One of the prophecy, which was a big prophecy in the music, 1983, Africa going free. See, 1983 forward, certain things is still the same way. Bob is all gone, right? His Majesty no longer physically. I and I said His Majesty gone too, right? So what? Enough people trim, fashion change. See, who's, who's the next man on the platform? Yellow man. This is uh, not about Rastafari. It's about rip it, right? See, style and pattern. See, mm -hmm. everything change, yeah. So we have the influences of access to information, and then supply and demand. We have the influence of different things taking prominence. Whereas our culture, them time the the data them see, them them are not rasta, you know. But them still are wearing them tall pleated skirt and them crew neck with them little red gold and green badge and I wrap up them head, you know. See, before the perm came along, right? And then from the perm, we've gone to the weave and, we gone. you know, gone, yeah. where we're gone. gone. Mm -hmm. See, and from the tall skirt, we've gone to he micro, gone. micro skirt. Yeah. See, right? So everything changed, people's behavior, everything changed. See, but that's all the changes I see kind of Some started. Of the, changes. the little snowball, Mm -hmm. Which turned into a big avalanche. Yeah, man. I saw it though. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so nearly. What, 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 what are some of the things that we use to change? You know, the equipment that we are fixed. Yeah, man. Over no, time, no. A great deal, man. A great deal. <laughs> We've gone far and it make, it make a lot of people come in at the industry where 
Now you even dream said I'm with the industry at all same. There's technology advancement still. Cause you have things like mixers. With them start selling out a road now, you get one line you push up another slider, push up another slider. But the original sound man, it, if you don't know the preamp, then you can't play it because all you get is just an aluminium case and you get some little black knobs at the front of it and then through you are at the operator, you, you know, know who is volume, who is bass and who is treble and who is gain. Mm -hmm. You yeah, understand? So, them days now, you, you have to go to a man who have certain knowledge to put them components together to make your sound. But through the technology and thing now, any man can, from you have two shillings, you can go buy two amplifiers out there and a few bucks and one mix and you're gone with it the same way and you say you have sound but uh, but uh, no man just buy a laptop yeah, well they even gone to that now where all a stick can go on with it well. now them things they mash up dance with this you know that may drive you in the phone and steal with the microphone and me talk over every song change you know that may I ah you see ah you see so the advancement with the technology changes now things here where man like Cox now we used to deal with all valve before and thing. One night him go I want to turn all for play. I will go out there with him the night and thing. I'm going there. A man have got some little what them called orange boxes, them that transistor, the group. And them cocks reach here with them valve amplifier and them hear them things that tear down inside them. Frightened for going to go play with the sound man brethren. Because of the new technological innovation where you have a right and now some MOSFET transistor mm -hmm. go on with it. Mm -hmm. And when you look, it's on the Elko Square box, so and it's called Orange box. And yeah. So the transition between the valve now and the, uh, the, the transistor now changes up a lot of things. And man can have more box pan and go on with it and sound more loud and more deep and things here. Man, man, I find gravity and take you over me a deal with. Mm -hmm. So it, 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 it's a graduation, but the valve sound is so warm. Like everybody wants it still. Yeah, man, up to now. Yeah. Well, right it's now. more sought after now right than, than, than transistor now. Right now, me master, me master in an analog outboard. All right, the valve then now, all right, because yeah, you have yeah, digital, right. digital recording now, yeah. which is another so ad additional to the whole thing. Digitally, yeah. and then when I finish my mix, I yeah, push my master out through the analog again, because some system is the original analog. Yeah, it's the analog sound you want. You hear man of the analog sound, and who all of them want them want and thing. They want you the one drop still, and that's it. Yeah, so, Real sound man who know them thing and so forth, yeah, them talk about garage turntable and things like that and so forth. I mean, I youth me do garage turntable from Jamaica until me, yeah, for real. And when, when me meet all Shaka, Shaka used to come borrow King Original equipment. And Frankie was the original man for the sound. It's my name, it's me and Frankie built King Original sound. As a matter of me build it and name it and launch it and bring it out and things here and so so that sound when that sound came along and so forth we had valve first a valve we started off with until eventually we go into the MOSFET and change up the whole thing and the whole mm -hmm. thing come through them upon them levels and things and escalate and everybody just rise up so the changes were going now only that two me used to work in a record shop at Manor Park and we used to run a record shop called Vince Record Shop mm -hmm. and things here every weekend there's 45 as a man say earlier on pre-release Every Friday evening, the they're playing be. land. Yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> the real man pack up in that record shop. Yeah. Tune, tune, we record. All when Delgado come to England and Delgado link him man and him say, Nita, how you know them blood clad tune your Rasta? <laughs> Mr. Bridgen, Mr. Bridgen, I, I just walk past through every day in the record shop and thing, him couldn't believe it. And for come a record shop, come see me in an action. Mm -hmm. And when you hear you roll off and you have all ten sound man in front of you and you put on a tune and a man put up a finger. One, two, you just feel it down, let down, let you over me a deal with? You, 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 a man, you just raise him finger, you put on a needle and a man raise him finger, you put on a needle and yeah, you just a pile it off, see man. You see the changes and the artists them are come through and man like I Rai, big youth. A them man they change it. Yeah. Rasta man now, real Rasta man has stand up now and a, let it out now so you yeah, get man at talk about dreadlocks, dread and them thing there. Man I take all photographs and draw them herb on the front of them LP sleeve. <laughs> yeah, them thing was unheard of. Yeah. 
when Gregory <coughs> come through, all uh, Gregory and Gregory come through first, and all the all them little young ladies and things same way, they were called big people come by record and them thing. Them and you tell them say Gregory a Rastafari, right? Them say that, ah, ah, no, ah, ah. But you see when when they show them the photograph now and things same way, can't dispute that. A Rasta man I go on with it. You know what I mean? I with and Bob Marley not to dread and things same way and, and, and the whole thing come forward said speed. So the changes come through and man get a chance to put them doctrine forward with the music. Mm-hmm. Yeah man. Them use that now cause you have man like a Bongo Herman. Bongo Herman was originally vocalist. Mm-hmm. He used to sing first. Do you know what I mean? But the, but the first tune, uh, uh, when His Majesty uh, landed at Jamaica, the man, him, him got so long and write a song for, 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 for His Majesty still. As soon as, soon as, if I can't remember the name of the tune, still. I'm going to tell you when they, if you can find the other day, said Speed. Rasta, when the yeah. man is, yeah, when the man is sing them tune, the man is all and things, say me. And now you have Rasta, every man have to know. Every man have to know, every, every man, man have, have to know. know. That tune, a bongo man sing them tune in a graduate from the early. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I mean? So, 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 the changes where you see are going on and thing and this hip hop and them and the gun that we had, but uh, black people are with them, with them experience and them inspiration, them one let out and things. So, the, the technology help them for change up and things same way. And not only that, we exchange information because what you know as a Rasta man, as a black man and things same way about your history, the man they over there so know it. And go and put on the record now, you get to know it. You see the transition. Yeah, so now we have emerge. Yeah. We get the immersions and thing, and we realize, but uh, we come from Africa. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's why you go know whether, whether you da Jamaica, St. Lucia, Barbados, America, wherever you are, you still yeah, a Rasta yeah, man. You still a Rasta man, and you have to be aware of that still. So, so the changes become true now, and Bob Marley has, has said, Big you at us, big you to say it, and the man called Iri. Enough man no 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 so I I a real rasta man you know. Mm-hmm. When you hear I write, say a prayer up and all a tr- and a rhythm track my life. You you know so the man that oh different something about you, 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 you know what I deal with yeah, man, enough of them stay so Ken Boot when they say all Ken Boot he, he, he talk about the land of the ice gold and green yes, and them man. things. A rasta man the man and yeah. Natty or no natty. Yeah, mm-hmm. Natty or no natty. Mm-hmm. Ah, the dan the dance smart. Mm-hmm. Yeah. When you hear the talk of Rastafari, you, you, you know what I deal with? Yeah. So we, 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 we emerge with the world changes as it comes along and we go through the motion and you see where we go. And like I said now, they were talking about originality, man, one valve amplifier, man, I run back for that analog sound because I got him one because the technology, the stick, the laptop and them things. No that, uniqueness, it, no. Yes, yeah, sir. And it's yeah, so man. accessible, easy. Yeah, so any man can buy two tune, buy two equipment and call himself a sound man. But the real sound man have the original sound we have built yeah. from and him know each equipment where a white door. How, why, and what makes the damn so thing happen? So the whole thing get a lot easier and a lot more simple. Accessible now, accessible yeah. Right. So anybody can do just it. Yeah, yeah. Remember them time there, yeah, three songs could have played in a land and you turn up outside. And as you hear you know the song, song, you know which song I'm playing. You get a distinction you know from it. You know that song is there. Because when they say they might bring the sound, they might bring the sound, the boxes, yes. everything. Not yes. just yes. three man, I bring the other part of the plug All right, good. I hear your man at all about sound clash. Yeah. Yeah. I think all the man is, is clash record or artist clash. Yeah. <laughs> sound system, when you string up and me string up now. Yeah. And then you hear what me sound like. Yeah. Oh, and the crowd will hear what you sound like. like I like what you say, you have to have a preamp, otherwise, use a, use a, use a road trip. Mm-hmm. Is yeah. that a sound system? No, 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 it's a disco. A disco ah. take that then. You know what I mean? Man, I said, I'm a selector. What is a selector? A jukebox. You drop a dime and you press a number and a letter and it select it for you and play that. A sound system operator, different smart it. So you put on the needle there. You must can follow the signal until it reaches the speaker. And any knob you touch, you must know which speaker and response. Otherwise, a joke thing. Yeah, man. Like bird, man. You're not you're not sound operator. You're not play the sound. <laughs> and and, and the, the beauty the beauty of the play you, the sound. <laughs> the, the beauty of it, if, if, if you're not play the sound. Really? Yeah. Yeah, man, yeah, man. Expression. Right, man. So, so you feel about it, brother? Uh, 
<laughs> uh, I saw uh, you feel about this. <laughs> yes. yes. You need to add anything to that? I think um, one of the things that I remember as a young man coming up, when I first saw hire company, where you could hire equipment. Yeah. And I always thought that's something we should have got involved in. Mm -hmm. You know, we didn't, and it passed us by, and now we had to go to everybody else for things, you know? In terms of the the business side of the music, yeah, we were ignorant. Yeah, I'm right. Very. Yes, we sir, enjoyed yeah. it, and we just kept enjoying it, but no one press a break and say, hold on a minute. Why, why? So right now, reggae music is, is truly international. Mm -hmm. yeah, but right. the same game with different players, but unfortunately, we missed that bus, and we're playing catch-up. You know, exactly. so I, I I really believe that in the the evolution, you know, so certain, we have to, we certain have to tangents, be business minded, certain yeah. tangents and certain moves weren't Wonderful. made, and we're playing catch up. Mm -hmm. You know, um, when we think about what sound system was to your road, with your school friend them and so on and so forth, that was the gang. But what was it? It was it was buttressed with principles you learned in the music. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. I learned the Bible from the music. Yeah. I used to run, go and play in the park when it was time to go to church. Yeah. You see, so there's principles. I'm a I'm a Muslim. They call me the Muslim Rasta. If I don't tell you, you wouldn't know. I sit down here with my brothers and reason all the time. Mm -hmm. That's why they call me Brother Errol. All right. But the principles and the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding are both the same. We're going down a road, the only thing in the way is a wall, like can people over to Bridgerton, and the same way. Let's take down the wall and just keep moving. True, true. It's all the same thing. You see, so yeah. um, I just think the business aspect um, are the things that we, we negated. Uh, we're playing catch up now, so we're now in the place where we need to be, but is not where we should be mm -hmm. in terms of the controlling factor. Not so much the controlling factor, the management factor. Yeah, yeah. You know, the business there, sh factor. there shouldn't be somewhere we go, i.e., Europe, and can't go and play with sound because one person has got the monopoly and mm -hmm. they have got to beg that person there. That's, ma in. that's madness. Mm -hmm. That is madness, mm -hmm. you know? Um, so, the, I think we need to. Um, keep the original culture going in some way, shape or form, be it a museum, be it classes, because if you can get a class, go to university to learn how to fold bed, I make bed and they call that a degree. Mm -hmm. We must be able to put something together. We have a wealth of history. Yeah, well, one thing, and knowledge. Knowledge. One thing that um, Simba pointed out is back in the day when man was using man's style it wasn't so much like anyone was biting or anyone was stealing something because it was something that was passed down from generation to generation mm -hmm. right now there's not really that gap being bridged between the generations and the generations yeah, that's so nice. and like i say to a lot of my brethren them they say oh well I learned how to make hip hop music because when you went onto YouTube, there was 50 men teaching you how to make hip hop music. Yeah. Who is teaching them how to make reggae music? Yeah. If no one is giving the culture forward, mm. how are the next generation going to receive the culture? This man should be in a university, you head of a I mean? department. Yeah. You say, I have lessons of how to build and repair. People don't repair stuff now. You don't work your truck with disposable. Yeah. Yeah, well that's so that, 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 that the technology to bring now, you know, the disposable equipment and things so man have a thing and him and it not work and bring it come and you look at it and you can't repair it because the components are so small right nowadays you can't even read it. So and you just take out a board, put in another board <laughs> and you're going to get set speed, you know what I mean? So as a natural me have to gear out because the time is running. <coughs> oh, yes, I done. Well the whole thing the aspects of the, the business, the sound system and the changes from the equipment and the copyright of the first customized systems that were built for individual sound members and having that was never copyright. The amplifiers, the companies that we use, i.e. for for drinks, Baby Sham, I mentioned Mackison, Guineas, we're supposed to have 
actually monopoly and control over these people that actually we bought into the business and made them who they are today. Coming round to the equipment, Celestian speakers, yeah. Fane, Goodmans, all these people that we as sound members actually bought into their companies, the wood firms, you know what I mean? So when we're talking about passing on, we never actually covered the whole board. And like I say, you can go on to internet and they can teach you about, you know, five people can teach you about hip hop. We never actually passed on anything like that yeah. in the sense of it being exclusive to us. And because we lived in the illusion that it's exclusive to us, those that knew about the system and how to copyright and take it in the way it's now international, where we have to go to those who control the monopoly. We're the, lo we're the ones that lose out. And again, Errol, yes, we're playing catch up. Where the development of sound system can be now picked up. When we built our sound system, we knew how to build a speaker box as we came from school and we got a degree in woodwork. Yeah, yeah, we yeah. knew how to join things. Thing uh, first thing we're going to build is a speaker cabinet. The first thing you got to learn is to know that the speaker has to go on something called a baffle board. Mm. At that time, there we had short throw speakers. That means the speaker was set inside the box and it was put onto an actual cutout of the, the wood for the speaker and then it would put on some blocks so it would put back and then the box itself the cabinet will be um, insulated and then it would have an air hole for the speaker to breathe and the sound would come out of that that particular art form has been lost where now they're building cabinets from the computer and you load the speaker from the front and now you've got long throw speakers so so that is lost the uh, the preamp stage professor neatly the man that could build so your professor my son for have excellent treble and a deep bass line so he will go into his microfires and find the, the things they put in there to give us the straight deep bass line from the preamp what they call a management system so things have changed in such a way that we have lost out but where we are now at this time it's never too late. It's never too late. Because this, what we have, the knowledge where we have, and the format where we're coming from, is lost in the world where we are now. As you said earlier, man can just go buy equipment, active speakers. Mm. I never knew about anything like that. Amplifier put into a box, you've got a laptop, plug it in, and you've got sound system. Plug but the difference is, you're hearing the sound. You're not feeling it metaphysically. Mm -hmm. That is the difference, and that is where we could step in and make our contribution. By bringing the music. So is there any last remarks anyone would like to yeah, yeah. say more? Some things will just be mentioned. With the change, like my man I talk about, from record to down to on a stick. Mm -hmm. This has highly affected the industry. See, because them time there, you want to play the tune, you have to buy the tune. Mm -hmm. yeah. See, now... There's a lot of sharing and free download. You have a man turn in one three grand to play at the night and you never buy one tune and just come with a wallet. We are just like a stick in just come with a stick. He's not contributed nothing to the industry. Not even a But he's same name so and so and so and he demands a certain and amount of money. Back. You know why? He demands that money because for real, he might go pull the crowd. How him do it, I don't know. See? But they might pull it. They might pull it off. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, but the industry highly get affected. Seeing those who make the music, seeing it's not the same anymore. Yeah, man. Yeah. Then other things have been discussed. That um, speaker, right? Reasoning with I and I Godfather, Amps Godfather, talk about man like Metro. Seeing mm -hmm. Metro tell us he meet up with a man called Mr. Eddie. See, I believe Mr. Eddie come from Ghana. I think a jazz word family. See, them man there is original arms man. See, they learn from each other. See, but from knowledge what Father Metro tell I, a lot of this information about these highly powerful amps was military information. Mm -hmm. See, just like now we see mobile phone for domestic use. Mobile phone originally was military and high security use. See, things that come to the public, come yeah, later. originally are for people in military or whatever position. See, originally. And you saw the involvement and the advancement of INI sound equipment. See, talking about speaker, when Metro first appeared sound, 
him tell I said, boy, Simba at them time there, every man just appeared 12 inch speaker, you know. Mm -hmm. That was the, li the biggest speaker. See? Right? But he had heard about bigger speakers, right? Or this knowledge through people in army or whatever. You understand? Mm -hmm. So he went down to Goodman's. Is that a good man, sir? A good, good man. man. Yeah? And he said to them about this 18 inch speaker or something like that. And they never hear about it. But his idea, right? He gave them his idea. And then go home. I remember said them time there, not everybody have a telephone. A lot of the information, communication was by post. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Some months later, he received a letter, right? From Goodman inviting him, right? Because they've taken his idea and built a prototype. Yeah. You understand? And when he went there, they gave him the thing I said, yeah, go on with it, test it out and whatever. So he was the first man for a long time of an 18 inch speaker. See, Head these the are market. all information where enough people don't know about. Mm -hmm. See? Right, so, you know, just them things that I just want to interject about the way the industry has been affected. See, because of digital sharing, seeing and all them things there. And then, you know, the advancement, you know, of I and I equipment, you know? Yeah, man. Seeing, and that, what I said earlier about the whole thing about <coughs> ownership. Right now, we don't even own venue. Why? I don't know one of We don't have the time so, to so start going things. to them kind of <coughs> things. Mm -hmm. We things. just have to the... It's lamentation. Yeah, man. But it's still... Like what Father Errol said, we're at that stage now and we've come to realization. Mm -hmm. How do we take it forward? Mm -hmm. See? Yeah, How do we kind of not make the same mistakes yes. as I and I move forward, as I and I generation move forward? Yes. Talking about Acamedia, right? Now, there are university discussions, Goldsmith University and all that. They've had university discussions about sound system. Yeah, man. But the people them, who were involved in sound system are not on the panel. <laughs> you understand? <laughs> See, so, yeah. Yeah, man, but what I think is important is that we have spaces like these and places like these where we can have conversations like these so we can identify what the common denominator is, what the common problem is, so that we can then look towards fixing the problem and moving forward. So, with that being said, I'd like to give thanks for dancing clear and big up Lazo, Africa dancing, Simba. Yeah. Dancing yeah, man, Bless up. Bless clear. up. Bless giving I and I the opportunity. Big up you. African Simba yeah. for giving us the space and That's allowing us to come here and, and hold the meditation and yes. give thanks to all of the ones and ones for featuring. If you enjoy this content, remember, you can put a thumbs up on the video, you can subscribe to the channel. Exactly. My name is Ripper Jordan representing for Dancing Clear Reggae Vibes? Rastafari. 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 Rastafari.